Wow. The cement is very rich in the concrete. The concrete is very rich in cement. That, way, that is the best way. And you know, that's all what we're doing today. So family, greetings to you all and welcome to the channel. It's your brother Prince Ayoko. Once again sending my greetings to all of you and our families at your side. How are you doing? How is our families at your side are doing? In today's video, I'm just going to share with you what we're doing. And uh, today we are making some, um, today we are making the concrete floor to the septic tank that we, we dug uh, about three days ago. Today is the third day. They finished it yesterday. I showed a video of it yesterday. And, you know, when they finish digging the septic tank, the next step is to make concrete floor inside the pit before uh, we start to build the walls to the septic tank. So usually, the reason why um, we are making the cement very rich in it is that it is the cement that makes it last longer. So when you put up projects like this without making the cement so much, it cannot last longer. It can, it can never ever last longer. And then uh, the reason why I'm also not going in for biogas, uh, biogas digest, uh, digester system is that um, I believe in this uh, septic tank more than the biogas uh, digesters. I, I believe in these septic tanks more than the biogas digested. I've known some septic tanks for close to 25 years and they are still like they did it yesterday. They still looks like it was being built yesterday. But with these biodigesters, I've not seen uh, how it works and I've not, I, I haven't also have, I don't also, also even have the belief of the lifespan of it. So that is why I personally decided to go in for the septic tanks to the toilets because um, it lasts longer. That's what I know. It lasts much longer and I already have an evidence to some of them that showed me that I should go in for it. So I'm just going to take you through the tips of how it is done. So right now, as you can see, uh, they, mix, uh, they mix the river sand together with the pebbles. Here we call it chippies. And then you now they added cement and now they are using the concrete to floor the, the, uh, the septic tank. There and you see what they are doing. And then what we are doing today inside the compound. We're doing a lot of things today. <laughs> you understand? We just keep the, the work going. The work is just going each and every day. So please follow me and see what we're going to do, you know, today, or what we're doing today. This is the man, that's the warrior, the man who has made it happen. That's the mason who built Queen's guest house. He's Umba Jamfo. That is his title, the name to his title, Jamfo. Jafo is the one who has built Queen's guest house and the one who has did all the masonry work at Queen's guest house. He's the one that built the system, the underground water tank. That is the man. That is the big man. Jafo and his team is not joke. And you can hear him play his warrior songs. Sefashiri! <laughs> As you can see, this is the septic tank that uh, we this man dug about two days ago. And um, they are now making the concrete floors to the septic tank. 
and by doing the concrete floors to the septic tanks, um, we have to spread some pl plastic bag there. We have to, you know, spread some plastic bag there. And this is to prevent any kind of water that can, uh, that will, you know, in the future, any water that comes out from the ground, it is the plastic bag that will prevent it from getting into the septic tank. Boom, Bajafo. Mm. This is the medicine. And I'm asking him that why, you know, are they, uh, you know, spreading the, uh, the plastic bag. It's a very thick plastic bag on the ground before uh, putting the concrete on top of it. And he also said that uh, it is to prevent water that comes out from the ground in the future that can get into the septic tank or that can pass through the concrete to the septic tank. So that's just the reason. So when they finish making the concrete floors for today, they'll come back tomorrow and start building it. So hopefully tomorrow like this, uh, tomorrow at this time, they'll already be here working. And by the close of the day, this septic tank, they will finish building it. Their work is very fast and they are very strong in working. So just follow me and see what we're still doing today. Mm, 20 feet in here. So this particular septic tank is 20 feet by 5 feet 5 inches. So this area, this area is 20, uh, 5 feet 5 inches and the length is 20 feet. So it's a very long uh, septic tank that we have here. And it's going to be a septic tank for 4 guest rooms. It's going to be a septic tank for 4 guest rooms. That's why we make it big. So this one is going to have three chambers it is going to have three chambers and all of it will be linked to each other so just follow me and you know learn some more about building in ghana and not not only in ghana but building as in general and everything here is done manually everything here is done manually we don't use machines here the only machines that we use is you know, the, 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 the wheelbarrows, the, the simple machines that we use. And it is made in Tamale here. So everything that we use here is local. Everything that we're using for Queen's Guest House is made in Ghana. The cement, the river sands from our natural rivers, the PVC pipes made in Ghana, the roofing sheets, the irons, everything here is made in Ghana, including those who are doing the work are made in Ghana. <laughs> You're <laughs> made in Ghana, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so uh, it's no, it's not, it's not like I'm making fun of them. They are born and bred in Ghana, so that's made in Ghana. Bekala, be drag Ghana, kazu Ghana, ma made in Ghana, nyama. I'm telling him that when you are born and bred in Ghana, then that means you are made in Ghana and Africa as well. <laughs> So today we are plastering the, the back side of the launch. We are uh, my messes is plastering the back side of the launch. We are just going to make everything very straight. And we are going to plaster the top as well. All the top will be plastered because I want it to be leveled. I want it to be leveled. I want it to be straight. I want it to be like nice before the tiles come. You understand? So that's what we do. See you to kill you. It looks kind of sad. <laughs> Mr. Kill, what's going on? Everything's going on. Everything's going on.
Otoki is a student and he's also following his master learning a uh, medicine job. Otoki, you are in senior high school, right? Yes, no, final year. Final year at senior high school. Yes. Which school? Sabulugu senior, Sa senior high school. Yes. Wow. So why did you decide to learn medicine? You see, this work is good and it's helpful. Really? Yes. So do you, do you want to be uh, at the office in the future or you want to be in the field working as a mason or you want to be in both sides? I want to be in both. Really? Because working this one is just hard work and being in office is also good. Really? So I want to be both. Eh. Yes. But among the two of them, which one do you think when you are doing, you will have a self-sufficient life, like you can control yourself? Without... Yeah, this way, this way. When you are doing this way, you have more time for yourself. You have more time for yourself. And you can do anything that you want. And you can do anything that you want. Yes. Then you have to make work. <laughs> you have to be serious to learn, bro. Okay? This is your time. This is your time. You are you are the future leaders, you understand. So be mindful, open your mind to the job. You know, watch it with your eyes and your brain. Follow it into details and learn more about it, my brother. Okay? Yeah. I, I know you are a very hard working young man. So I have to advise you. With the work here. <laughs> uh, Bakal and Mo is also here, you know, busily, you know, um, putting, st putting things together to dress up the lunch. You understand? Bakal and Mo. Chong Mo Ma. I'm telling him that we are going to fill all this here so that it will be level. From this place down to the level, and there will be a step here, you know, just to beautify it. Here we are to kill. Yeah, everything that we're doing here has been well planned by no one, you know, no one but me. So anything that they do, I'm so happy that uh, when my medicines advise me about something, I listen to them, and when I also advise them about something, they easily listen to me. So we don't have any kind of uh, arguments here with regards to the work. It's just, you know, using each other's ideas to bring things together, you understand? That is one thing about building projects. When you are a builder and uh, the master advise you to do something, it's just a matter of accepting it. And when you also know that when the master is doing something that cannot help you, when you tell them, they will also listen to you. And at the end of the job, the results will be good. You understand? That is why we are seeing everything at Queen's to be upfront and strict without any kind of mistakes. Because whatever they tell me, I list it. Whatever, whatever I also see and tell them, I list it. And I'm, I'm, my, my measurement tape is always here. This is my, me this is my measurement tape. My measurement tape, I don't joke with this when I'm doing something with regards to building or any kind of work that has to take this to do. I don't joke with measurements. Measurement is one of the most important things that we have to check when we are doing uh, things. I always have, I mean, sometimes I have up to two measurement tapes here. Because I always have a reserve measurement tape. So as you can see, this is how they have started to plaster the the, the launch, the walls to the launch, and that is also the walls to the underground water tank. So you see, from here, from down here, up to, to, up to the top here, that is the that is the end of the underground water tank. That is the system, and then from here, down up here is the launch. That is the wall to the wall launch. So it's been well planned, and everything is working. The plan is working, and the. Um, uh, people's mind here by you know making a design a wall design here to prevent people from either maybe seeing the uh, the, 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 the lead or the cover or the wall to the water tank which is here so this is the water tank as you see yeah so that's how I plan it and that's how I have programmed it yeah Channel. This is where the water passes through to the uh, underground water tank. You understand? So whenever it starts raining, when the 
uh, when the water is not clean, I'll just open up here. No, 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 no. I'll just open up here. So just look. Um, just look. When I open here, you see. So you see. So whenever it starts to rain, when I open here, all the dirty water from the roof will go. All the water that is, you know, that comes first from the roof, you know, it's always dirty when it comes first because uh, of dust. So I'll just open here and all the water that is not clean will go out from this gutter. And the, you know, when the uh, roofing sheet is well cleaned, as you see, it's well cleaned, then I'll, open, I'll just close it into the system. And this is the overflow pipe. This is the overflow PVC pipe to the system. So whenever it reaches this state, uh, this uh, level, whenever the water reaches this level inside the tank, it will start to go out. Because this uh, overflow pipe, PVC pipe, also runs into the gutter and straight to outside the guest house. And I can use the water for my plants. I can use it for uh, other projects, you understand? No water is wasting here. So they're going to plast all, they're going to plast everything here today and make it nice for me to wait for my tiler to come to start putting up tiles on this place. You understand? Uh, you know, I like nice, nice things. So I'm gonna use um, some particular tiles that I'm not gonna share now for the launch, both inside and out. So everything is going to be amazing. And this is the vent pipe for the underground water tank. That is where the tank will be briefing. So you see this pipe, it goes straight into the tank. When they finish, I'm going to collect some um, uh, some joints here, uh, some bend. I'm going to collect some bend here, and it will be facing up, at least this level, or this level. So I'll give it some net to prevent mosquitoes from getting into the tank, or any kind of insects from getting into the tank. This particular project, as I tell you, has been well planned. So anything that I'm going to do, I already know how I will do it. the plans, you understand? So um, Adam is also here at the wall. So when they finish, they are going to smoothen everything and it will be nice, you understand, before the tiler comes. So when the tiler comes, they are going to, you know, their work is going to be easier for them. But this particular uh, pillars, or columns, I'm not going to plaster them because they are already smooth. So all what is left is there is for the tiler to come around and do his work when they finish. It's only these places that I will plaster. You know, so everything is going to be 100% neat, 100% neat. So that's just what I'm sharing with you with regards to building today. Yeah. Adams, Adams is very busy. So you see how he's making it, yeah. So at the end of it, everything is gonna look perfectly fine. About you know, staying focused and sticking to the job. Staying focused is very important. When you stay fo focused in life, everything that you do, you will never fail when you are focused. You understand? So especially when you are a self-made person and, and when you are kind of multi-talented. There is everything that is easier for you. Yeah, what they are doing, I'm not a Mason, but I can see the majority of what they are doing. But as long as it's not my job, I'm just gonna keep watching. Where I'm supposed to help them, then I help them. I see that I'm take off the mortar from the uh, concrete uh, pillars, you know, design pillars, so that it will not dry on it. When it dries on it, sometimes when you are going to remove the mortar, it damages the pillars, the design pillars. But when you take it out from this particular uh, stage, it's very easy. Yeah.
Now, uh, the master, the master is going to level the concrete, he's going to level the floor, and that's what he just started to do. People, people will be wondering where we get this strength. You know, it's, 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 it's how we are. We were brought up. These hard works and hard labors that we're doing every day, we are getting tired. <laughs> that is how we were brought up. You understand? So it's just what it is. Yeah. Anyone. Any any person here in in, 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 in Tamale or in, in Tabon Kingdom who has been raised in a very typical uh, Tabomba home, they are very hard working, very, very hard working. They, they don't get tired when they work. Uh, that's how you know our parents brought us up. And that's how the elders in the communities as well as our masters brought us up. They brought us up as, you know, as real hard workers. And that's why um, we do things like magic. You understand? You give a picture of an eye, you get the job done. So you see, in less than 10 minutes, he has already, you know, leveled the tin. And he's just dressing it up. He's just dressing the concrete up. All right, family, uh, family, this is where I'm going to end uh, today's video because we still have a lot to take care of. And then moreover, um, I'm having some different things to do today. Uh, thank you so much for your time. And I'm so happy always sharing this, you know, uh, informative videos with you and, um, and making you to learn more. That's the, the, the wood is going to use to level, to, to, to dress up the level of the concrete. And you see how he's doing it. Yeah, so that's how they do it. Everything here is natural. <laughs> we are using simple tools to make it happen. So family, thank you so much for hanging around with me and just, you know, Take your time to learn what I'm sharing and also, you know, taking part in this journey of, you know, my building, our building, Queen's Guest House Project. Thank you so much for your time, for your patience, for your support, for your ideas, for your motivations, for your inspirations, and for your courageous ways as well as your prayers. I thank you all for this, you know, wonderful time that we all sharing together or we all having. I love you all, family. I love you all, and I pray, you know, the best for all of you. I pray the best for all the black man and the black woman. You understand? Staying positive is always the best. So please always stay positive and always stay focused and always push through to make your dreams come to reality. I pray for the best for me and you and our families and friends. Till we meet again on my next video, it's your brother Prince Ayoko sending positive vibrations from Tamale to you wherever you are. Stay focused, stay blessed, and have a wonderful weekend. Have a productive weekend as well. Peace. One love. <laughs>